beautiful beaches, vibrant village, close to the city and the countryside as well. It just has everything. I'm Rachel and I've lived in the North East about half my life. Tyne Mouth Village is just about eight miles out of Newcastle and we're right on the seafront. For me, the coastline is without a doubt the jewel in Tyne Mouth's crown. It's stunning. We've got some of the best blue flag beaches in the country and Tyne Mouth has actually recently become one of the country's first plastic free coastal towns. You've got the big long stretch of sand, which is Long Sands Beach. You've got King Edward's Bay, or Eddie's as some people call it, and that stands in the shadow of Tynemouth Castle and Priory. It's an English heritage site, 2,000 years of history, and the coast and castle backdrop is quite unique, I think, to the northeast. If you're an active person, Tynemouth's a great place to live because you can go for a run on the beach, you can walk your dog along the promenade. The surfing here is actually fantastic. I think that would surprise a lot of people. The sea is a little bit cold, <laughs> there's no denying it, but it's just a breathtaking coastline. Our fish and chips are, well, I might be biased, but I think they're some of the best I've ever tasted. So we've got Marshall's Fish and Chips, which is the Friary by the Priory, as it's known, and that's your really traditional fish and chip shop. But if you want something completely different, you head down onto the beach and you go and find Riley's Fish Shack. What they serve is so creative, so fresh, so unique, and the setting is second to none. In my eyes, it's Michelin standard food, but you eat it on the beach. The main hub of Time Mouth Village is Front Street. You've got fantastic bars and restaurants. Lola Jeans is one of my favourite spots because it's a great place for a drink but they do the best burgers, they are something else. Barca is small but perfectly formed. It's not what people would expect for a seaside village to have such funky cool little bars and restaurants. There's some really unique shops in Tynemouth, little boutiques, independently owned, loads of personality and the land of green ginger is very unique. It's a converted church that now hosts lots of tiny little independent businesses. I seem to find something different every time I go in there. Tynemouth is really well connected. We've got the Tyneway Metro, which can take you into the city centre of Newcastle in under half an hour. So you can be working in the city centre of Newcastle, but be having your tea on the beach. I think that is a really nice way to live. I think Tynemouth is the best place to live by the sea because it has that coastal village feel but it can also be really exciting, there's always lots going on. It's a fantastic place to have an amazing work-life balance so you don't have to give up anything when you live in Tynemouth, you can have it all. Maybe that makes us sound a little bit smug <laughs> but I think we've every right to be really. <laughs>